Welcome to Music Theory. This is Grade 2, Week 12. This week we'll be dealing with melody writing, looking at composing rhythms. Let's begin. Composing rhythm is a preparation for melody writing. Before one can really compose a melody, you would have to learn how to write or compose rhythms. You may be provided with two bars or one with rhythm and be asked to complete the remaining bars. When continuing, rhythm is like answering to the first given rhythms. There must be unity between the given rhythms and the completed rhythms. Rhythms come in four bars, even more. After having completed these bars, they all have to sound as one whole, not just four patched bars. To achieve unity between the bars, one can repeat, some can be exchanged around or combined. The following example, the last two bars complement the, the first two bars. A variety and a slight change of notes is made on the last bar. The third bar is a repetition of the first bar. The four combined bars sound as one. Let's take a look at how that works out. This is the first bar, second bar, and the third bar, and the fourth bar. Right. The first bar, they say it's similar to the third bar. So this is a repetition of the first bar. The second bar, it's similar to the fourth bar, but it ends with a crochet. The fourth bar ends with a minim. Right. So this contains two crochet. This just contains one minimum representing two crochets. The four bar rhythm can be divided into different sections that balance each other. For example, bar one can be seen as the A section, bar two can be seen as the B section, bar three can be seen as the A section. Why? Because it repeats, it's a repetition of the first bar. Then bar 4 can be seen as C section. The change made on the last beat, which is the minimum of this bar, causes it to be seen as a different bar, even though it is similar to the second bar. Exchange Beats can be inverted or changed around. So we can invert and change around. In the below example, the third bar is the same as the first bar, but the beats have been swapped around. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. This is the first bar, second bar, third bar, the fourth bar. So the first beat of bar three is the same as the third beat of the first bar. First beat the same as the third beat of the first bar. So this beat, basically what you can say is that a bar 3 has been swapped around, but it's the same or it's similar to bar 1. It's just that it has been swapped around. The closing or opening bars can be similar, but less marks will be given for lack of creativity. Beats and bars can be repeated in various ways depending on a student's choice of rhythm. For example, bar 1 is similar to bar 3, but the beats have been swapped around on bar 3. Bar 2 is the same as bar 4. So bar 4 is a repetition of bar 2. Composing a new rhythm. Bar 4 is a new invention, but it complements and balances the first two given bars. Look at the first two given bars. Bar one, this is bar two, three, four. So bar four is a new bar, as you can see, but the rhythm is similar because bar two starts off with semi quavers, but bar four starts off with quavers. But it ends with a minimum, also ends with a minimum. 
so it's kind of like still similar it always it is always better to repeat a bit than invent the rest or, or maybe then invent the rest of the bar than just to or just taking the whole uh, entire bar as it is so it is better to repeat a bit than or, 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 or maybe after repeating it then invent the rest of the bar than just taking it as it is variety must be visible uh, 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 in the choice of notes used to avoid dull and boring rhythms there must be variety as you can see variety was used on this bar bar 3 and bar 1 are the same so this is the repetition repetition of bar 1 the final beat has to be a long note in order to make the beat sound finished a minimum it's long enough to make the beat sound finish short notes like semi quavers quavers may be used or may not be used to end a four bar rhythm but rather use beats with a longer duration like crochets minim and semi briefs the following are examples of ending a phrase of rhythms example one ending is more settled because the ending note has a longer duration as you can see it ends with a minim this one is not preferred because it ends with a shorter duration the above ending has an unsettled ending it sounds like it still wants to continue rather than ending then let's move on to grouping notes must be grouped accordingly following the, the grouping rules all the notes that add up to one beat must be grouped together remember one of the most important grouping rules notes that add up to one beat must be grouped together all strong beats must be visible remember in a 4-4 bar you can group beat 1 and 2 together beat 3 and beat 3 cannot be grouped with beat 2 but you can group beat 3 and 4 together clapping and understanding various rhythms tap out the following rhythms to help you understand the proper grouping of various rhythm so let's just clap out the following uh, group of rhythms so the first one is in 4-4 four, four. so 1 2 3 4 it will be like 1 2 and 3 4 1 2 and 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 and 3 4 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 and 3 4 1 and 2 and 3 4 you can see you must be silent on beats that have rest a dotted minimum means 3 so you're gonna clap and hold for 3 counts exercise 2 let's try clapping exercise 2 is still in 4 4 1 2 3 4 one two three four one and two and three and four and one two three four one and two and three four one two three four